Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the Washington Senators at RFK Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is Jerry Stevenson, whose record is 8-7 with a 342 ERA. And pitching for the Washington Senators is Barry Moore, whose record is 5-2 with a 405 ERA. Uh, yeah, so we got shut out yesterday, two to nothing, uh, by the Senators. A game that we were never really in. Um, it's a, it feels like the first time in a while where we um, just could not string anything together. I'm saying that as I see the Red Sox beat us eleven to zero uh, just a week earlier. <laughs> so maybe maybe those two games uh, felt similarly, but. Um, we retained our three-game lead over Oakland, and I guess ultimately that's all that matters is that we are um, up three games with, you know, 11 to go, and that's uh, good, the good news, I suppose. Uh, we're all healthy. We're all hanging in there, and uh, I think that uh, we have a good chance of putting some runs up against Barry Moore, who is a... Um, late season fill-in for the Senators. So uh, before we get started with today's game, just a reminder that we do have a contest going on. Uh, we are giving away this uh, 1970 Skip Lockwood autographed photo of uh, Skippy in the Brewers uniform uh, as the Pilots had, of course, moved to Milwaukee. It even has the piping from the Pilots uniform because there was no time for them to change uh, uniform styles as they moved to Milwaukee in the middle of spring training 1970. So, uh, yeah, there you go. You can win that. Just uh, be a subscriber and mention in the comments of this video uh, that you want to get in. You'll see all the uh, six cont uh, contestants that we have so far. Julio L., David Not Your Status Quo, Freddie C., Thomas D., Jason Vermont, Sports Guy, and uh, this long name that starts with a V3.0. Uh, I know that he's been in our contest before, so I do know who he is. Uh, let's get back to Baseball Mogul here. We'll go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe to the channel in general. I appreciate the likes. I love the subscriptions. Thank you so much. We are at 378 subscriptions. We got a new guy today um, whose channel is uh, with MMA and MMA sports cards, which is something that I am not really familiar with. Not a big fan of people punching other people in the face for money, but if that's what you're into, congratulations. Uh, Jerry Stevenson getting the start today. Current lineup for the um, uh, Senators are batting 118 against him, so uh, he's had a lot of success. All of our bullpen is available with the exception of the Cupid Owl, who uh, is unavailable. He pitched two innings yesterday, gave up a run, uh, but he, he did not pitch poorly. And then our lineup against Barry Moore, who is a left-hander, is basically the same as yesterday, but we've mixed it up a little bit. You know what I did do? I did put uh, Bill Robinson in right field. He's getting a, his first start in a while. And Freddie Potek. Uh, for the second time this week, is listed as tired. So Patek, who's been um, slumping, he's batting 173 in his last 20 games. So we're not going to miss him, uh, I don't think, offensively. Uh, Don Kessinger is jo doing just as terribly. So uh, we're going to get him in there at shortstop. He's equally good at short, which is his natural position. Also, McNurtney will sit up game. We'll get Jerry May in there. Jerry May bats 421 versus left-handers um, in just limited backup duty. So we'll see if he can get the job done for us today. We're kind of playing with house money. I'm not trying to be cute with the lineup. I'm just trying to activate this offense. And here is the uh, lineup officially for today's ballgame. Batting leadoff. Playing center field is Tommy Ag. Batting second. At third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third in left field is Lou Pinella. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in right field is Bill Robinson. 
Batting sixth and catching is Jerry May. Batting seventh at second base is Gary Sutherland. Batting eighth at shortstop is Don Kessinger. And batting ninth is the pitcher Jerry Stevenson. Okay, Barry Moore on the mound making his 11th start. As I mentioned, he is a kind of a late uh, mid-season call-up for them. Uh, I'm not sure who he took over for, maybe an injury, but his record is 5-2 with a 4.05 ERA. 41 strikeouts and 66 and two-third innings pitched. Opponents are betting 237 against him. He's got a complete game shutout. His fastball is rated at 80, I'm sorry, tops out at 89. Uh, his best pitch is the sidearm curve, rated at 83. Fastball and a slider, both below league average, overall rated at 80. I'm sorry, overall rated at 79. The 26-year-old lefty goes to arbitration at the end of this year. Take a look at his log real quick, just see if he has pitched against us. Uh, no, he has not, and he's won two out of his last three starts, throwing a shutout in there, so not too shabby. We might have our hands full today. Let's take a look at the defense. Uh, solid everywhere, except for left field, which is Frank Howard. Uh, he threw out a base runner. Yeah, he threw out A.G. in yesterday's ball game, and I think that was the catalyst for us getting shut down. If we had maybe not risked it, I think it was a 50-50 shot, and uh, Frank Howard with that 67 rating. Seemed like a gimme, but he was gunned down, AG was, and that was it. So we have AG leading off today, facing Barry Moore. Here we go. AG popping it up to second base. Play made by the second baseman, Bernie Allen, one down. That's going to bring up Rich Rollins. Rollins had the day off yesterday. Kessinger played for him, committed an error, in fact. And Rollins strikes out looking. Two quickies for Barry Moore. Next up is Lou Pinella, and he skies at the center. And that's a 1 2 3. Inning. So, so much for changing the lineup up. Let's take a look at the Senators' lineup rundown for today's ballgame. Betting leadoff. Playing third base is the rookie, Lenny Randall. Batting second in right field is Larry Bittner. Batting third at first base is Mike Epstein. Batting cleanup in left field, as I mentioned, is Frank Howard. Batting fifth and catching is Jim French. Batting sixth at second base is Bernie Allen. Batting seventh in center field is Del Unser. Batting eighth at shortstop is Ed Brinkman, and batting ninth is the pitcher Barry Moore. We've got Jerry Stevenson on the mound. He's maybe the only other pitcher um, from Broadbender that I trust right now. He's making his 23rd start, 8-7 with a 342 ERA, 146 strikeouts in 158 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 207 against him. He doesn't have a complete game yet. Fastball tops out at 93 miles an hour. But his screwball is his best pitch, rated an 84. Overall, he's rated an 82. The 25-year-old right-hander is arbitration eligible at the end of the year. Let's take a look at his log. He went four innings in his last start against Detroit. He was pitching well, and then he got wild. He walked five, and we had to yank him from the ball game. But his two previous starts were victories, and that was coming off four consecutive uh, lost decisions, so not great. Um, let's take a look at our defense. We are, um, it's interesting, Darren Johnson has bumped back up to an 80. Sutherland is at 78, and we do have May behind the plate, who is better defensively, but McDermott's you know, held his own all year. Okay, Lenny Randall leading off versus Jerry Stevenson. 2-1 count to Randall. He pops it high in the sky. Being caught by the shortstop Kessinger in the outfield grass. One down. That's going to bring up Larry Bittner here. You notice that he is a September call-up. I can remember as a kid when I would get his baseball card and I would see the name, way his name was spelled. I would think it was an error. Like, how can there be two I's and two T's? That is legit, obviously. <laughs> if you're a baseball fan, you know that. But I can remember as a dumb kid, I'm like, how can there be two I's and two T's? 
It's got to be a misprint. And I always hated his um, Chicago Cubs cards from the uh, late 70s, early 80s. Whenever I get one, I'd be like, got a terrible pack. He lines out to center, and then uh, Mike Epstein steps up and hits a ground ball to Kessinger. It's short. So it's a 1 2 3 inning for Stevenson. We go to the top of the second with Darren Johnson leading off. Johnson into center field. One out. Here's Bill Robinson. We're giving him a start today. He had a pitch hit single in yesterday's ball game. It's good to see. And he strikes out here. So nobody is able to get anything going against Barry Moore today. Here's Jerry May, his spot start. Whoa, get out of here, Jerry May. Thank you, Jerry May. Home run to right field. He goes off Otako for his third home run. Oops. That is his second as a pilot. And it's 1-0 Seattle. We really needed that. All right, we've got uh, two down. Gary Sutherland up. I had to drop him down in the lineup. He's betting 349 versus lefties. But he hasn't had a hit in three games. And there's a base hit to left. So it's good to get Sutherland off to Schneid. Now with two outs and a 50-50 shot, I think this is a good time to try this. Terrible arm, terrible speed. There's two outs. Let's go for it. He is safe at second. Good job by Sutherland. That's some hustle. He's still, despite uh, now being platooned, he does lead the team with 19 doubles, so um, contributing from time to time. And then Kessinger hits a ground ball to short. Play is made. We're on the board. We have the early lead. one nothing. headed to the bottom of the second. Frank Howard leading off. Howard, second on the team with 24 home runs. Sam Bowen's not playing today as Bittner's out there in right. Howard pops it up, and Rollins at third makes the catch. One out, now for Jim Franch. Franch has a home run against Stevenson. And yet Stevenson throws it right down the middle, and uh, French flies out to left center field. Two down, here's Bernie Allen. Allen 0 for 7 as a Senator versus Stevenson. And a ground ball to short. So I like the way the game's going so far. I don't know if you've watched uh, the Tigers game from earlier this morning that I posted. But things were going really swimmingly uh, for Burt Blylevin, and then he fell apart in the fifth. Like, just came right off the hinges. Jerry Stevenson gave it a ride, 346 feet. I won't uh, give away the result of that game. But I will tell you there was an eight-man trade offer uh, at the end of that game that was um, d deserved some second thought. AG gets hit by a pitch. Wow, only a 64% chance for AG to steal second. Um, that's okay. We got one down. We're going to hit and run. With Rich Rollins, that's something he does well. Leading the team in most offensive categories, including most nose hair. Base hit to right center field, and A.G. will go to third. It's first and third with one out. And we're going to repeat that with Lou Pinella hitting and running. He's still batting 338 versus lefties. But I feel like he's just kind of given up. Hey, a base hit to center field. That scores A.G. Rollins goes to third, and it's 2 nothing, Seattle. Things are looking good here. Um, let's go ahead and try to get a sack fly from Darren Johnson. Of course, this could be a double play. Now, that'll get it done. 
He shoots it to right field. Rollins will tag and score easily. Oh, 70% chance. Holy cow, Larry Bittner has an 89 arm. We're going to take that shot. And he is safe at home. Good job by Johnson. Driving in the run. It's 3 nothing. Seattle. Bill Robinson at the plate. 2-1 count. And a comebacker to Moore. And that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the third. Pilots get a couple runs. It's 3 to nothing. Jerry Stevenson at 24 pitches will face Del Unser. 2-2 two -two count to Unser. Sharply hit ground ball to second. Sutherland make him a play. We need to play error-free defense. Just make the routine plays, guys. You can smell the playoffs. Ed Brinkman popping it up at home. Caught in foul territory by Jerry May. And the pitcher, Barry Moore, at the plate. Moore does not have a hit this year. And he strikes out. That's only the first strikeout for... Stevenson, who leads the team in Ks, we go to the top of the fourth. Jerry May leading off. It's May, Sutherland, and Kessinger. And May walks. He hit the home run. And he takes first base on ball four. Uh, I was considering laying down a bunt with Sutherland. But since he got a hit in his first at bat, let's maybe he's got another one in him. Nerp. Popping it up. Onto the outfield grass at short. Play made by Brinkman. One out for Don Kessinger. At this point, we may as well let him just swing. He's batting 162 versus lefties. He did so much work to get back to 200, and now he just can't hit the ball. He can take a walk, though. And we've got first and second. And Jerry Stevenson up. We're clearly going to lay down a butt with him. Uh, I'm curious, how many bunts does he have this year? How many sacks does he have? He's got eight. He's two for 34. So he's capable. Let's see if he can get it done. 1-1 one, one count to Stevenson. He's a left-handed batter, despite being a right-handed pitcher. And gets a good bunt to first. Everybody moves up. That would have been good for them to have the wheel play on. Second and third. Two down. Tommy Ag at the plate. Here we go. 1-1 one, one count. Right down the middle. Ground ball to second. We strand two. Go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Lenny Randall leading off. Second time through the lineup. 2-0 count to Randall. And a base hit to right. And this could be trouble. Randall has good speed. He has nine stolen bases. And we've got a left-hander up. Larry Bittner looking for his first career hit in the majors. 1-1 one, one count. Fly ball to center. All right. Stevenson handling his business here. Power guys are coming up, though. Mike Epstein. Two for nine in his career against Stevenson. He's got a couple Ks. I feel like Stevenson is just not locating his fastball. I would like to have seen more strikeouts. He does get Epstein to pop it up on the infield for out number two. Here's Frank Howard. What's Frank Howard's nickname? Does it have one? Hondo or Capital Punishment. Oh, man. That is an awesome nickname. Capital Punishment. Oh, man. That strikes fear to me right now. Like, I'm like, I don't even want to pitch to this guy. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Okay, ground ball to second. And there's out number three. Wow, that's that's a great nickname. That might be the best nickname I've ever heard. We go to the top of the fifth inning. I can't think of one off the top of my head that's better than that. All right, um, here's Rich Rollins. <laughs> he's he's, he's uh, Rich Roll to us. Oh, one count. Oh, Rich Rollins! Dead center field! 
Barry Moore put it right in the love zone and he cranked it 458 feet. That is his seventh home run on the season. If you look at his log, yeah, he had he's had two in the last 20 before that one, so it's 125 hits on the year. Nicely done by Rich Rollins. He's got to be the player of the year for the team. Um, and I guess maybe Gene Brabender deserves fair credit. When the season is over, I will pose that. I'll, I'll put a poll out on the um, main page here. And you guys can vote for the uh, Pilots Player of the Year. Darren Johnson will probably be on that poll. As well as uh, Tommy Agee. Two outs for Bill Robinson, who's offered us nothing today for the start at right. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's 4 nothing thanks to Rollins' seventh home run of the year. Okay, now this is where things get a little spooky for me. Three left-handers coming up against Stevenson. He's only given up one hit, but he's also only uh, struck out one batter. So, like, we need to take the ball out of play here. He walks the first guy, yeah. So, I mean, getting him a win is not that important to me. Uh, so we're going to take out Jerry Stevenson. Oh, he's got 162 innings pitched, so he qualifies for the ERA title. We're going to bring in Ron Locke, who um, has become unre I mean, unreliable is harsh. But if you look at what he's done, but he has not seemed as, seem as effective against lefties. We got Bernie Allen up, who's batting 130 versus left-handers. 2-2 count. And Allen, on that screwball, pokes it to center. There's one out. Dell Unser, he's a 167 hitter versus left-handers. 1-1 one, one count. Ground ball to third. Let's go around the horns. Catcher's running. Yes. 5-4-3 double play. Patting myself on the back for that call. Jerry May leading off. May, home run and a walk. 3-1 count. Walk him again. There we go. Jerry May. Jerry May could be our starting catcher next year. I know it's hard to say with what... Um, McNerney has given us this year. But uh, he, I think we're going to have to go into spring training and consider that. First and second. I might be just like a, you know, in the moment. Uh, uh, what do you call that? A uh, prisoner of the moment with May doing so well. Sutherland walks. That's four walks from Barry Moore. Nobody out. Here's Kessinger. A ground ball, sharply hit to first. That could be two. Oh, no, the only play is to go to first. Now, we've got Locke here, and we've got a ton of lefties coming up. I mean, we they have a lot of lefties in this lineup in general. So I think with a four-run lead, I would like Locke to bat. So... Let's do a safety squeeze. It is the catcher running after all. Let's see if he can get the bunt down. Get us another run here. Good bunt. Back to the pitcher, though. May comes home and scores. Sutherland advances. And it's 5 nothing. Excellent job by Locke. Add that to the Seattle Pilots highlight reel over here. And Tommy Agee will fly out to center field. Okay, it's 5 nothing. Eddie Brinkman leading off. Batting 330 versus left-handers. But then we've got a ton of lefties coming up. Oh, one count. Oh, shit biscuits. Wow, 480 feet and it wasn't even close. Senators around the board. 
Ed Brinkman, home run number 10. And they're going to let Barry Moore bat. Wait, what? Did he hit, he hit it? Oh, no. Oh, it's a line out to first. I thought, I mean, the way that looked, that looked like an error waiting to happen. Lenny Randall, switch hitter. He's going to turn around bat right-handed here. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. A double for Lenny Randall. Now, we got two lefties. Well, that is his fourth double of the, his career, technically. Okay, here's Larry Bittner. Bittner does not have a hit in the majors. Runner on second, one down. 2-2 two -two count. Why are we not getting the strikeouts? Bittner pops it up. And Kessinger makes the catch. Two down, Mike Epstein with Howard up next. I wonder if the game is going to walk Epstein here. Nope, first pitch swinging. Fly ball to center. Caught. Okay. They get a run. It was a, a pretty home run by Brinkman. I think he said it was 480 feet. Incredible shot. We go to the top of the seventh. Barry Moore still in there. Here's Rich Rawl. One, two count. Oh, have the, has the momentum changed? As Pinella strikes out. Oh, I'm sorry. Rollins strikes out for the second time. Here's Lou. Lou's one for three today. Flares it out to right. Caught for out number two. And Darren Johnson... Why is that the left? Okay. So, Frank Howard <clears throat> is a right-handed bat. And then we've got three lefties. Is there a right-handed pitcher not named Lockwood that we trust? I guess it would be Diego Segui. I mean, we've still got nine outs to go here. And Ron Locke has an endurance of 50. Um, oh, so let's just take a look here at his splits. Right-handers bat 207 against him, and he's given up two home runs. See, we got these three lefties afterwards. Like, I don't trust anybody else. I, I don't care if Ron, Ron Locke gives up a home run to Frank Howard. I want my best lefty to get these other lefties. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to we're going to change up our defense. All right. So Van Kelly coming in to play second. Mike Keegan coming in to play first, and we're okay everywhere else. So there's a couple defensive replacements, much better in the infield, and I guess we just take our chances with <laughs> capital punishment. Holy shit. 3-1 count. And he walks. Wisely walks. Howard. Now, Howard's got no speed. This guy can barely lumber. If he gets his hands on you, you're in trouble. But he's got to catch you first. Howard on first. Here is Jim Thronch, a 157 hitter. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Now we can't get anybody out. Bernie Allen. 2-2 two, two count. Striking him out. Let's get a double play here for crying out loud. Del Unser. 0-2 oh, count. Striking him out. All right. Well, Brinkman's already gone deep. Off of... Um off of lock. I think we're going to bring in Skippy here in this high leverage situation. Because there are so many left-handers in this lineup, we'll go to uh, Denny Riddleberger next. But we need to get out of this inning without giving up another run. So, Lockwood coming into this situation here. 
He's pitched 59 innings in 55 games. This is game 56. 7 and 0 on the season. Opponents are betting 203 against him. Here we go. Ed Brinkman. Two down. First and second. 2-2 two, two count. Base hit. Will Howard score? Yeah. All right. Here's Denny Riddleburger. How do you like your burgers? Riddled with mal, mal, mad cow disease. God darn it, couldn't say it. Right. First and second. Two down, one swing of the bat. We'll tie it up. We do pinch hit. It's Billy Bryan. A ground ball to second. Van Kelly makes the play. So they get another run. They pull within three. It's five to two. And they're going to bring in their closer. It's Jim Schellenbach. Old blue eyes, I call him. And he's pretty good. Robinson. Um, will sit for Joe Pepitone. There we go. One, two count to Pepitone. Round ball to first. Oh, that's a lefty on lefty. I didn't know. I, I wasn't paying attention. Fudge me. I just screwed the pooch on that one. Sorry, my head's really not in it. If, I'm sure you guys know that uh, I'm dealing with my whole car issue thing. Jerry May having a career game. A double, a home run, and two walks today. That's his uh, third double in the pilot's uniform, fourth overall. Van Kelly we're going to let bat. He's only batting 120 versus lefties, but he is clutch. 1-1 one, one count. Down, ball to short. May holds. And Kessinger hasn't done jack shit. Ground ball to second. To the bottom of the eighth inning. Down three runs. Riddleberger coming back out. He only threw four pitches. Here is Lenny Randall. Let's take a look at the in-game stats, by the way. Why not? Randall, two for three today. I've only got four hits. Two by Randall, two by Brinkman. And they've accounted for everything. 1-0 count to Randall. High fly ball to right field. It's Pepitone out there. Makes the play. We trust Pepitone. He may not be the best defensive guy, but we trust him. Okay, Larry Bittner up. He's 0 for 3. Still looking for his first major league hit. 0-2 count, and he flies out to Pepitone. Two quick ones here for Riddleberger. We've got a right-hander on deck, so you know they're probably going to walk him. No, 2-1 count. No, base hit. Uh, he was going to get on no, one way or another. Uh, there was no way he was not going to get on. And so we have to pitch to Frank Howard. If he hits a home run, we still have the lead. We have to leave Riddleberger in there because we have more lefties coming up. Not a wise move, but it's a chance we're willing to take. Brown ball to Kelly. Come on, Kelly. Yes. We are going to the ninth inning, and Riddleberger will come out. Great job, Denny Riddleberger, a man I'd never heard of before. Uh, so we have a left-hander on the mound. We need to get someone in there who's good versus lefties. No Patek, no McNertney. Ooh, Don Bosch has six home runs. But he's just been total hot trash lately. Look at his log. He's batting 196 in his last 20 games. So, we'll see what he's got here for Schellenbach. He's got the huge ground ball to second. One out. Tommy A.G. up. A.G.'s got a home run against Schellenbach. And he's got it better! 
opposite field, Dong. It's six to two. AG gets off the schneid with home runs. That is his 22nd. And if you look at his log, he hasn't had, he's had one in 20 games before this game here today. Well, I, that makes me feel a little bit better. Rollins has struck out for the third time today. He's got a home run, though, so we're not going to argue with that. And then Lou flies out the center. Okay, we're going to the bottom of the ninth inning. We're going to use uh, Don Bosch on defense, actually. Uh, Bosch. We're going to move uh, AG to right. And Bosch will go to center. Pepitone will come out of the ballgame. We need a new pitcher. And we have three lefties coming up. We have a four-run lead. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see. I guess it's John Morris, uh, who we have not used in a long while. If you look at J-Mo, um, he's been better than he should be. Splits. Lefties are batting 260 against him. Uh, and we have to trust that he can get three major league batters out. Right? It's not a safe situation. Otherwise, we just bring in Marshall. And maybe we should. But then we'd have three lefties batting versus a righty. And I'm just playing the odds here, yo. Here we go. Word to your mother. Jim Fedge popping it straight up. That looks like an error waiting to happen. Nope. Caught. Doesn't say who caught it. I don't care if it was the Bat Boy, as long as it was caught. One down. Bernie Allen betting 120 versus lefties. One, two count. Striking him out. What is that like the second strikeout of the day for, for Pilots pitchers? It comes down to Dell Unser, 158 hitter. Full count. Ground ball to Rollins. Come on, Rollins. Yes, the Pilots win 6-2. to two. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Good game all the way around. Good pitching, good hitting. Defense did not make an error. I only swore a few times. Let's take a look at the standings. And we remain three games up with ten games to go. All right. Good job there. Uh, Washington is officially eliminated with that loss. So we were the, we applied our own capital punishment, I guess. Uh, Chicago is now eliminated. The Cubbies wait until next year. And we already knew those four teams were toast. Like, let's look at the calendar real quick here. So now we go home and we face the third place Yankees. They're still in it, but they have only an outside chance. And then we play the third place uh, twins uh, so we have seven games at home we would love to win all seven of those games but probably not going to happen and then we get a day off we can fix our pitching rotation before we play uh, the Orioles for what might be the playoff berth to face the Orioles so that's exciting let's take a look at the headline news Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat Kane pinches a 5-0 pitches a shutout for Detroit versus the White Sox. Good job by him. Four hits for Tony Oliva in a 6-4 Twins win. Killer Brew hit a home run. The killer, Frank Quilici, went 3-4. for four. Leo Cardenas had a home run. Okay. Uh, Red J hit two home runs uh, as Oakland beat the Yankees. Yeah, that's nice. And Okay, transactions. Uh, okay, Dick Bozeman signed a three-year extension for Washington. I believe, yeah, he's injured, so... Uh, but they like what they saw, and they're going to pay him a little bit more money. I got to change the contract in... 
the game. So I'll do that afterwards. Let's go ahead and pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Um, get in on that test you just saw pop up there. You can uh, let me know in the comments if you want to enter to win the Skip Lockwood photo, autograph photo. Um, all right. Player of the game, we're going to give it to Jerry May. He had the game-winning RBI. He went two for two with a double, a home run, and two walks. I, I don't think you can do much better than that. Jerry Stevenson, we tried to get him five innings, but he wasn't having it. Ron Locke, uh, unlike him, gave up two uh, earned runs. Um, one was a home run, but, I mean, he did what he had to do for us. He gave us almost three innings of work. Skip Lockwood could not get the only right-handed batter out. Denny Riddleberger will get the win. He is 3-2 and two on the year. John Morris also pitched an inning of relief, which was fantastic. Barry Moore takes a loss. He is 5-3 and three on the year. Ed Brinkman with his 10th home run. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with uh, maybe two more games. Uh, so until then, everyone, have a great day.